these are an option to add to your financial portfolio can give your investments an extra boost, but there is a lot of misconception about the Registered Retirement Savings Plan. Here to help us sort all that out is Everything Financial President Peter Sashaki. Good to see you. Good morning. A lot of your clients do probably call you up and say, hey, I want RRSPs. What can you tell me? What, what do you tell them? Do you advise yay, nay, not right now? <laughs> we look at the financial plan and decide, first off, not you look at retirement. What are you going to need for retirement? What do you have in pension money? What do you have in TFSAs? What do you have in savings? And then what do you need in RSPs? But with figuring out what you need, the most important part is look at the tax bracket you're in. Are you going to get enough tax savings and tax deferral? Because you're really just deferring that tax until a later date from the RSP. So you have to make sure really first and foremost, from a tax perspective, it makes sense. We're always told, you gotta get those RRSPs, you gotta bulk up for your retirement. What do you think that is the biggest misconception when it comes to RRSPs? We hear this all the time. The biggest misconception is, well, why buy RRSPs? I'm just gonna have to pay all the tax back when I cash them in. That's what I think. Yeah, not true. Okay. Okay, <laughs> if you buy RRSPs in a 40% tax bracket, you're gonna save 40% in taxes right now but make a plan to cash them in and just with some smart planning, what if you cash them in and you're in a 20 to 22% tax bracket? Heck, what if you're even a 28% tax bracket? There's 12% in savings. There is, it is so easy to plan to buy RSPs at a high rate, 40, 50%, whatever tax bracket you're in, and cash them in in the 20 to 22% rate. There's not a lot of planning that has to go into that and there's potentially 20% in tax savings, not counting the money you made on the RRSPs while they were invested. I know often we have talked about RRSP season and we've already had this conversation. There we go again. There is no season. So, but so when you buy them is actually really important as well. It, when you buy them is really important and you have to put money in the swear jar now because you said RSP season. <laughs> I know, but I was saying that there is no such thing. So it takes the money out. There's RSP deadline, that's right. Uh -huh. But no, but buying them all through the year is best. Proper planning. And there's this thing called dollar cost averaging. The markets right now are, are volatile. They're up, they're down, they're sideways, they're all over the map. You don't know when the best day, the lowest day, the worst day is. No one knows that until it's in your rear view mirror. Mm -hmm. So if you're buying consistently as part of your plan, you even out that volatility as part of the financial plan, and that's a good idea as well. Okay, so here's a point you want to talk about, about buying RSPs and getting back 50% and then cash them in at a lower tax bracket? Yeah, and, that, and that's not that hard to do. The lowest tax brackets are under 40,000. So say between, say you're working and you're in a 50% tax bracket, and the highest in BC is actually 53.5, but if, if you buy your RSPs at 50%, now RSPs are only part of your retirement. There's other sources of money that will make up your retirement. Cash, just sit, just investments. TFSA, well TFSA has no tax on the gains. Your cash has minimal tax just on capital gains. So if an RSP is just there to supplement your retirement, maybe your overall income in retirement is around 40, 42,000 and you're in a 20% tax bracket. That happens all the time and with some proper tax planning, you can create tax deductions at retirement and make sure you keep that income. And I've seen people who theoretically are in a 38% tax bracket, but with proper planning, they're cashing in their money in a 20% tax bracket just through tax savings that have been created to be there when they retire. That's why you have to get on this planning early so that you're buying the RSPs now in this one bracket, cashing them in in a much lower bracket, and you win and the government doesn't. Oh, wow. Said it right there. <laughs> well, it's true. I mean, <laughs> we yeah. want to keep we want to keep as much money in I, our bank. The account best way as to possible. make money is not just by earning a great rate of return. The best way to make money is don't give it away to the tax man in the first place. That's the that's the plan. Peter Sushaki, thank you so much thank you. for keeping it real, keeping it honest. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks for your time this morning.